you don't already know, I'm Melanie. And I'm Debbie. And we're here from Something to Wear and we want to welcome you to our very first virtual fall fashion show. Here is Susan, looking very cozy, in a Ataj Arctic Tech high performance filled coat. So it's not damp fill, it's actually a, a fiber fill, but there is a beautiful real fur hood. It is detachable, as well as the um, fur itself is detachable. So the coat is washable, totally washable. But how fun with this little check print, really dresses up your puffer coat. And uh, you know, just gives it a whole fresh and wonderful look. Notice the side zips on the uh, side that make it, give it a little bit of ease for sitting in the car, and it does have a double zip. Now, underneath, we're gonna unzip that coat, Susan, and we are cozied up. For those of you who can't wear wool, this is the perfect alternative. This is Cotton Country. It is a Canadian company, made in Canada. It's a cotton, recycled cotton, actually, and polyester blend. It's already been pre-shrunk. You can wash this dryer, especially with cream sweaters. We're all worried about that. Cream sweater, wash it, dry it, and ready to wear. On the bottom, we've got a pair of cords from part two. Corduroy is back, ladies, but it is so soft and cozy in the winter, and it's a little dressier looking than your denim. So a great look, nice straight leg. Uh, it can be worn with a tall boot or a short boot, like Susan has on now. And these are from our friends at Shoe Muse. We have to thank Shoe Muse and put a shout out there. They have supplied all the shoes for today. These are Boss & Co waterproof plum suede, what a gorgeous color, and it will look really rich with all of the earth tones that are in this season, great back to denim, but would be equally cute with a pair of tights, one of the little dresses, uh, because we just gotta dress up sometimes. That looks awesome, Susan, thank you so much. All right, next up we've got Suzanne. Now, Suzanne is definitely dressed for the weather today. <laughs> we had to turn the heat down on in here. She's got a beautiful, beautiful sweater from Mave. This is a brand from France, and this is like a little poncho sweater. So actually on those Chinook days, this is all you would need to throw on. That ocean color is stunning. We've layered it with a DeSoto white shirt. What's awesome about these shirts is that they are 100% cotton, and they're made of t-shirt material. So I know you can't see it with uh, Susan's got that high, Suzanne's got the high collar, but it has just a regular shirt collar on it. So it's ideal for layering under your cardigans and sweaters. And then we paired this with a pair of high waist. Let's show the waist on those jeans, Suzanne. Yeah, a little bit high waist. It's not, you know, they're wearable high waisted, but has that flared leg with an unfinished hem. A little bit of a 70s vibe going on here. And then dressed it up with a nice necklace and of course a hat from Lily Coho. I think Suzanne might have a couple of these in her uh, repertoire. She wears hats so well. <laughs> but I think we're really gonna need our hats this year, uh, ladies, especially all of you uh, snowbirds who might be uh, staying home in uh, Canada this year. Now the shoes, which really set it off, gorgeous Shani B shoes. These are one of her most popular styles. I was wearing mine today in the gray. These are almost a, like an iridescent teal. And let's see the heel on those, Suzanne. They have a nice black patent heel on them as well. Very fun, super casual, and they go all year round. So a very comfortable shoe boot that you can put with jeans. Again, go back to dresses, wear with your skinnies. As we know, this has been a popular bestseller for shoe use. Next up, we've got Peyton. And Peyton is wearing one of our favorite Canadian desires. She's rocking it out in Rock and Karma. Now this is how we're gonna do leisure this winter, ladies. So if you like a little sparkle, now you gotta check out the reversible sequins. How fun is this? This is the uh, Bowie sweatshirt. Nice and cozy, has the pockets. Who doesn't love pockets? You throw this also on with a pair of jeans. Peyton has them on with Rockin' Karma's incredible leggings. They feel amazing, don't they, Peyton? Like everything is just tucked in there nicely and comfortable. You can breathe, they stay up. These are the heart studded leggings with a little bit of leather, uh, add a little bit of fun. You could still do a bit taller boot with them. They do come also plain solid, which is, I know ladies have had these leggings in their wardrobe for years and they wash and wear amazingly. Now the boot, got to pull in this gorgeous red tone from the uh, sequins on the sweatshirt. Now these are Boss & Co waterproof red patent boots. Would be nice and cozy, great with denim again too. Um, we're gonna need these a lot this winter, I hear. We're in for snow. And they are trimmed with faux shirt or with real shirley. So they'd be nice and warm. They look really cute. Thank you very much, Peyton. Today, known only today as Susie, because this is another Suzanne who works uh, for us at the store. And since we have two Suzannes, we're gonna call her Susie today. She is also rocking it out in Rockin' Karma. Check out this little jacket. 
uh, you get the stretch of her gorgeous um, stretch knit, but uh, then add a little bit of denim work to it. All of the denim is upscale denim, so it's been recycled, and so very eco-friendly. Uh, this would be equally cute over a little black dress, like how hot would that be? Also something you can wear summer, winter, any time of year. Now underneath, let's just while you're close to the camera here, Suzanne, we'll just show off this beautiful camisole. These are in from a brand that's new for us this season called Culture, and it's from DK Company. You're doing fine, I know it's a little, we have a little hang up on the tags, no problem, she'll throw it back on. Anyway, these camis are beautiful for under layering things, where sometimes the lace might show. Uh, co very comfortable, they come in three colors plus a leopard print. Someone who has a mystery bag will be getting one of these. Now we've also got a pair of cute crop jeans and you might be thinking, crop jeans in the winter? Uh, well, yeah, you won't get the bottoms wet in the snow, right? Plus, you can actually show off your short boots. Really great idea. So don't put your crop denims away, ladies. Keep them out for fall, winter. We finish it off with a belt. This is the other thing we're getting a little bit used to, and I know not going out as much and dressing up as much, the thought of tucking things in after the COVID-10, I hear ya. But it does, look how finished and polished it looks with this gorgeous braid belt uh, that's been embossed, nice little silver buckle, and it just finishes the entire look. And she also has a cute little, we're seeing those chunkier um, necklaces coming back. This is from Merck's and just has that really thicker chain. I know we all have some from the 80s probably in our closet there somewhere, but a really nice finished look. Awesome, thank you, Suzanne. Come on down, Peyton. And we have her in this gorgeous little dress from part two. You know, I know sometimes you don't feel like putting on dresses these days, but you just look good and feel good when you do. This is that cute boho style with a little bit of a tiered, um, just at the waist, there's a bit of gathering. So it's not too, too girly, ladies, but you could definitely throw a pair of jeans underneath. You could wear it with tights and short boots. Peyton has it nicely layered with a very refined cardigan from Nile. The little dress is from part two. Uh, we're really loving the, the print and the colors are so rich this season. And uh, we've really dressed it up with a pair of gorgeous boots. These are the Altiers Mock Croc tall boot in cognac, very rich. They would look great too with the all black, you know, with some great skinny jeans and a nice sweater. And uh, this would be a great look to take to the office for those of you who are still going in and or for a little small cohort get together. Thanks very much, Peyton. All right, next up we've got Susan. And Susan is wearing this new little trend, the shirt jacket. This is one of the cropped versions. This is from Gentle Fawn. It's in a tensile fabric, so it has a really gorgeous sheen to it and a nice drape. This is a little jacket. Really, you could wear this all year round. Little t-shirt, tank top, and cute shorts in the summer or capris. Now for fall, winter, we're dressing her up. She could do just a t-shirt or a turtleneck, but we've got this gorgeous blouse from Culture. It's a print top and it has a bit of gold foil. So that is that nice little going out for something a little more special, even if it is just to the next door neighbors who are your cohorts. But it would also be great to wear out to a restaurant. And uh, again, in the jeans, notice the nice straight leg. This is the Fidelity Shared High Rise. Not too high. Fit the pocket placement are beautiful on these jeans. It's a really good retro wash. And once again, we've tucked in. We've put a beautiful braid belt. This is one of our favorite and best selling buckles of all time. We've had it for the last 10 years. It's the OG buckle. It is your perfect jeans belt. Then to finish off the look, a new fly London just in in a emerald suede. The color is gorgeous. I know they've done this style of boot, uh, you know, over the years but it has a combination of suede and a little bit of, it looks like mock snake skin uh, with a bit of texture, but anybody who has this boot knows how comfortable that wedge heel is. And it is ideal for our winter weather. Uh, it's okay on the snowy snow and icy sidewalks, uh, but you still look good. Thanks, Susan. All right, next up we've got Susie and she is ready to go out. Nothing's gonna keep this girl at home. <laughs> And uh, with her cohort, she'll be heading out for some wine. An adorable little dress from Apricot. Apricot's a line out of the UK. We love their price points. I think this little dress is $85. And Suzanne just has it worn, you know, nice and simple with the little faux fur vest. This is a Michael Coors hooded vest, faux fur. Uh, someone will be winning their choice of a Michael Coors 
outerwear piece in the mystery bag, so I'm excited to see who wins that. Uh, she's just layered up with a nice little necklace to fill in the V-neck neck neckline. But you can also take this little dress, and what we're seeing is a layering up, for those who don't get too hot, put a turtleneck underneath this. So a nice tight high neck turtleneck, or even doing the shirt collar, just to layer up and have fun. You could throw jeans on instead of the tights underneath. And we happen to find a perfect pair. It's nice to see color in the footwear. It uh, gives us a new reason to, to buy yet another pair of boots. And these are Shani B, and it's a studded teal boot in a suede, but the toe has been kind of finished off. It's got a smoother finish on it. They look super comfortable, and I think it's a pair that you would definitely get a lot of wear of this winter. Perfect, thanks, Susie. Next up, we've got Suzanne, and Suzanne is looking cozied up. Now, this is an outfit you could definitely dress up if you're going for a dinner, going to work, just going for groceries, ladies. We gotta just wear our beautiful clothes and feel wonderful and look amazing. This little jacket is like butter. I wish you could touch and feel it. I just imagine it. It is from We. It's a German brand, and yes, it is meant to be all crumpled and rumpled looking. It has wire in the collar, and it is that cropped style. It's perfect for wearing over your dresses and skirts. The skirt is also from We. That's a nice little pleated skirt. And yes, we're wearing these lighter weight fabrics in the winter, but pairing it with a nice sweater. Now under the jacket, we've put a finer knit Part 2 cotton turtleneck. Yeah, those turtlenecks are back. And yet it would be gorgeous with a chunkier black sweater um, over top as well. And the scarf is from V Frost. These scarves are always so soft and gorgeous. They're cashmere, but there's no cashmere in them. They are an acrylic. What's the beauty of them, made in Germany, they don't pill. So you have that rich, soft look, no wool for those of you who are sensitive, and they just wear beautifully. Finally, the boots that we paired with this little outfit, um, a gorgeous tall, tall boot from Boss & Co. And it is a suede and waterproof. So perfect for Calgary winters. Thanks, Suzanne. Here we go, Peyton is ready to go back to the office. This young lady is a CA up and coming. And while she's not uh, in the office yet, hopefully soon, and when she does go back, she's gonna be looking very sharp. Got a ladies vibe going here. No, actually 90s. This is a definitely a little more of a 90s look. In the Yaya Check Blazer, a very 90s influence, boyfriend, a bit schloopy. How cute would this be with a turtleneck and a pair of jeans? But we've got her dressed up looking a bit more corporate. This is a, a Yaya high neck blouse. Just show us a little bit as you come down, Peyton. Beautiful feminine blouse. We all remember those higher necks from that time. And the wrap skirt is from Yaya as well. And this is a faux leather skirt, that beautiful length right to the knee. Now we've got her looking a bit more professional in an AS98. Funky Mary Jane, uh, and nothing boring about those shoes, ladies. But this would look gorgeous with a nice tall boot, too. Uh, we just love this put together look. I wish you could feel the jacket. It's super soft, no wool in it. It would keep you nice and cozy. Perfect for when we go back to fall weather next week. Thank you very much, Peyton. Looks awesome. All right, next up, we've got Susan. And Susan is looking cozy. The teddy bear coats are still here and uh, probably here to stay for a while because they're just so comfy and perfect for this winter season. Uh, she is wearing, the coat is from Nile, which is from Switzerland. What we loved about this teddy coat is it's very flattering. It just does, doesn't add too much bulk or make it look like a teddy bear. It's really cozy, cute, can be worn really casually with jeans. We've got it dressed up. And then we'll now have Susan just sort of unsnap it and slide it off. So she's looking very elegant. This would be a gorgeous outfit for going out to dinner, going for a meeting, and even if you are just staying home and want to dress up and look gorgeous for uh, a dinner with the hubby, it would be great. So the blouse is in Tencel jersey, so it does have stretch. It's from Inwear, and the tweed pant has got a nice boot cut to it. That's also from Inwear. And when you do have the longer length coming back with the wider bottom, more of a boot cut, the pointy toe shoe does really make the pant. This is a Peter Kaiser quilted black pump. It's as classic as it gets. And even though it's got that beautiful high heel, they are super comfortable and easy to walk in. Also accessorized, we've got a nice little necklace from Merckx. It's got the magnetic clasp and seeing that rose gold play into um, all of the gorgeous fall tones. It's just a 
perfect outfit for heading out somewhere <laughs> soon. Thanks, Susan. All right, next up we've got Susie. And Susie has on another Ataj coat. This is a stretch wool coat. And in that gorgeous, rich, they call it camel, but it's almost more of a tobacco color. So this is a classic, uh, classic coat. Again, we're gonna be wearing them a lot this winter, so you kinda need your parka style, and then you need your dress up uh, more of a wool style. This one would definitely fit the bill. We'll have you slide that coat off as you walk away there, Susie. Underneath is an absolutely stunning blouse from DeSoto. I've mentioned before, the DeSoto brand make their blouses out of a, a, um, a stretch material. So it's like t-shirt material, but this one is just taken up a notch with the chiffon sleeves. We'll try and show off that sleeve a little bit, Susanna. A gorgeous little ruffle on it, very feminine. And then the skirt is a real leather front with the ponte back. This is from the brand Culture. It's only 190, great price point, gorgeous with the tights. You could dress it down with a chunky knit sweater and a pair of funky short boots, but we're looking ready for a night out with the Altiers Shibuti, and it's in a suede. It has that gorgeous cutout front, and this is what we always call that good date night shoe. Whether you're going in or out, it will certainly do. Thanks, Suzanne. <laughs> All right, here, here we have our other Suzanne coming down the way with a wonderfully comfortable but dressed up looking outfit from Naya. Naya is a brand out of Ireland, and I know we have a lot of fans of Naya out there. She has just a really cool look. It's very Euro upscale, but she makes things out of comfortable fabrics. This is a knit, great little pop top. Layered underneath, we put from Luca a mesh sleeve. But if you wanted to make it more casual, you could layer a tight neck turtleneck, you could do a shirt collar, nice cotton shirt, pop the collar up, have the cuff showing below. But late, we've also paired this now with a white, no, sorry, black and white pencil skirt. Notice on the uneven hem, so it looks like a mock wrap, but it has that gorgeous black panel on the side, which is flattering. Again, that below the knee, so it covers the knee. No reason why you couldn't wear this right into summer just with a white t-shirt and some great runners. But we're going for a very chic upscale look here. And the shoes are from Shani B. They are gorgeous with a red patent, really pointy toe. And you've got to note the hound's tooth heel. And I think we can be able to turn sideways there. Come a little closer, Suzanne. We'll try and show the ladies, get, try and kick up a heel a little bit there. Let us know if you can see that gorgeous heel. It's a hound's tooth heel, kitten heel. So these are definitely a sexy little shoe from Shani B. Thank you very much, Suzanne. It looks awesome. Oh, we're live! Now, you, this is a rare opportunity to see the behind the scenes of our Something to Wear fashion shows. The lengths we go to to dress our tall girls. <laughs> Deb needed just a little help today. <laughs> Thanks, Deb. <laughs> All right. Now, I need, first I need to explain. Peyton, walk on down here. We need to explain uh, what Deb was putting on Peyton. I'm going to just pause there. Check out this gorgeous faux fur bandana. I have to thank Peyton for that description. Uh, this is one of our door prizes, and there also are a couple in the mystery bags too that some lucky gal's gonna receive. And we needed, we felt we needed to explain because when Deb and I pulled it out of the box, we we're like, what? But it is a collar in the shape of a triangle. It's faux fur, it has a buckle at the back, super soft, and uh, you know, just a really cute, piece that will sit inside the neckline of your coat over top of a sweater um, in, in a winter coat or even a jean jacket so when you happen to, if you happen to win one of these or receive one in your mystery bag you will know how to wear it so thank you for modeling that item Peyton and we'll start for real now now um, might as well you could probably leave that on I guess it looks so cute but we have Peyton in this really cute camo a whole new way to do camo again a long duster coat and this is that perfect layering for the weather that's coming up this week when we're getting back above zero. Uh, you can dress it right down with your jeans and combat boots and a great chunky sweater underneath. But this is our fourth set. We do like to show a little dressier looks uh, in our fourth set, fourth set, as you know. And we want to inspire everybody to dress up a little bit. Whether you are just going out to a restaurant, going over to your cohorts, um, having people in, look good, feel great, and just rock it. 
So the blouse that uh, Peyton has on is from part two. Check out the sleeve. How beautiful is this? And it's, is it a lace? Is it a, an eyelet? We can't quite decide. It's just really pretty, soft, round neck and we've got it nicely tucked in. It would be adorable with a pair of dress pants, a nice little, that skirt Suzanne had on earlier, the little leather skirt, gorgeous with that. We've put it with a pair of the Mavi Scarlet Super High, super skinny jeans. These are a new jean and a great dark denim, very flattering on. Again, slim enough to wear with a tall boot, but great with short boots, or even with a chunkier, you know, more rock and roll boot. Uh, the boots that um, Peyton has on are from Peter Kaiser and they are a bronze booty so totally dressing it up and making it for a great date night look. Layered on a few nice little gold chains from Mercs. We're seeing a lot of the fine jewelry coming back but layering it in different lengths and I think that you look ready to go out on the town <laughs> even if it is to your own dining room. Thanks Peyton. All right next up we've got Susie and Susie is rocking this gorgeous. Okay, this is dressed up, but it's comfortable. You could cook Christmas dinner in this. You can float around and look fun and fantastical. Um, this is a dress from Luca underneath. So it's got the long layers and over top is from Naya, a mesh layer dress. These two brands, Luca's from Turkey, Naya from Ireland. They really do sit well together. A lot of our customers like both brands, mixing them together. They have a similar vibe. This little tunic, though, you can have a lot of fun with it. You could do it in the summer with a tank top and a pair of uh, little skinny capris. You could layer it over a lighter weight dress. The dress piece underneath is kind of a go-to with everything. Put the Rock and Karma jacket over top of this little dress. You've got a totally different look. Put that blue sweater that uh, Suzanne had on early in the first segment over top of the dress for a more casual look. You could have a lot of fun. This would be such a versatile forever black dress and it's different. Now, of course, to finish off the look, we had to pull out the stops with the AS98 tall black boot with gorgeous hardware on it. I think I can see Instagram, we can hear you. Oh, I see Diane Sutherland's liking this look. Yeah, I totally see you in this, Diane. Um, I think, can we see Facebook? You can see the boots okay. Notice all the hardware on the sides. That's a gorgeous, gorgeous. I can see quite a few of you gals loving this look. Thank you so much, Susie. All right, next up we've got Susan. Okay, and we before we even picked outfits for Susan, when we wanted to show sort of that pretty skirt with the nice fluffy sweater, and you'd be, I can picture Susan at home having creating her Christmas dinner with the family. She looks absolutely beautiful, but she's comfortable. So we always love putting Susan in pink. It is one of her best colors. So this was a, a you know easy outfit to come up with. The sweater again. I wish you could reach out and touch it. Um, it is from DPH. I would say the name in its entirety, but I butcher it so badly, I have no ability to do a French accent. But de petite fois, I've said it completely wrong. I know I apologize. So us Western girls call it DPH. It is a mohair and alpaca blend, super soft. Even if you are sensitive to wool, just a lightweight knit underneath makes it totally bearable. Now we've paired this with a crinkle skirt in a velvet material from Mystery and the skirt is a great price point it's a hundred dollars you could put a jean jacket with it the little leather jacket that suzanne was wearing put a t-shirt and a pair of sneakers with it for a casual look uh, we're dressing it up and giving it a funky vibe with boots from shani b and these are a suede boot with some really cool adornments on it i'm not quite sure how she's done that but and also metallic leather at the back it's a beautiful look and uh, definitely kind of the vibe we were going for with this is making it a, you know, casual but dressy at the same time, comfortable look. And the little necklace that Suzanne had on, or Susan had on, too many S's ladies, uh, Susan had on, is from Bell Jewelry. It's one of our Red Deer jeweler, a uh, little gal that does jewelry from there. And great price point, $35. So some really good gift ideas and it just sets off the outfit perfectly. Thanks, Susan. And our finale. All right, I dare you all. Who's gonna have a theme party for Christmas? Let's do the Great Gatsby. And here's Suzanne in a gorgeous little dress with beads and tassels and we will dress up again. 
And so even if, I mean, reality is I know I won't dress up this much for my Christmas dinner, but I can sure dream about it. Uh, when you do have that black tie function to go to again, uh, this would be a great little dress. And guess what? The price on this dress, 140. It is such a good little price point. It's that great line out of the UK. And uh, you can have a lot of fun with this. Throw a little leather jacket over it. Um, you know, just wear it out for dinner. We've got to just dress up and enjoy. Now we put this with a very classic little shoe. This is a new line. It's Danielle, and I'm, I hope I can say the last part right, Anna Karani. I believe it's an Italian brand. It's a suede pump with a beautiful resin heel. And here's another one. I'm sorry that you can't quite see it well enough, but the heel is almost clear. So very cool little heel, the heel. The shape is really interesting on it. And this would be a pump that you would just really have, have forever. Um, oh, we've got a question here. Um, how do you add a sleeve to this little number? Hmm, you know what? The mesh top that Suzanne wore under her um, black and white outfit from, that was Naya, would actually go underneath this. Or you could do a nice little uh, shrug sweater would go over top to cover the arms. So there's some really good options. That little piece in the mesh that uh, Suzanne wore earlier is a great way to cover your arms for any of the sleeveless dresses, vests, things like that that we have out in the season and any time of year really when we want to cover our arms. But yeah, I love it. And we've got to put a little sparkle on the bracelets or you do a great chandelier earring. Don't need a whole lot to dress this one up. Thanks, Suzanne.